because it's not far away from German border, uh, there was a huge army. It was Czech army, but the, there was a huge army station. And uh, Sushitsa was just the first city outside of what used to be Sudetenland. So historically, Sushitsa was a um, diverse place. Uh, there was always Czech, German, and Jewish community. Um, but it wasn't in a German zone. And so it was considered a Czech town, and it was not affected by a Sudeten history. Um, but there was the army base. So when I grew up, there was always the strong sense of the communist regime sort of presence in sense that people who were army people were uh, always in sort of coming and going, privileged. Uh, you know, they had a lot of much more money than the rest of the people. And, um, and especially through my mother's profession, I was very aware of that because um, anytime there would be new army family coming, uh, wives would always be privileged by getting jobs very easily in schools or anywhere. And the children were privileged. My mother as a school teacher was always, uh, it was always very tenseful and children were evaluated badly in a school that were from these families. Um, so there was a strong sense of awareness uh, of that. Um, and I grew up in the family that um, was always very clearly on the other side, meaning that um, you know, if Havel, for example, talks about a certain schizophrenia in a society, which I write about in my book, I was always uh, you know, strongly aware of this as a child, whereas something you talk about at home, and the history is one way, and different histories told in school, and different things you can say and act in school. Um, and uh, my grandfather, when uh, city was liberated by American army, and my grandfather is a photographer and also a musician, um, was uh, aligned and, and friendly with American soldiers. And so we always had in our family album pictures of uh, my father and American soldiers in my grandfather's studio. And so I grew up knowing that city was liberated by um, American army, while re other kids who didn't have this connection or through visuals w were um, living in the world of imagining that we were liberated by Soviet army only. 